How to Control Crystallization in Candy Making 1. Understanding Crystallization Crystallization occurs when sugar molecules bond together to form solid crystals. In candy making, controlling crystallization is crucial for achieving the desired texture. Proper techniques prevent unwanted graininess and ensure smooth, consistent candy. 2. The Role of Ingredients Different ingredients can affect crystallization. Using interfering agents like corn syrup, honey, or cream of tartar can inhibit crystal formation. These ingredients introduce other sugars, such as glucose or fructose, which disrupt the regular pattern of sucrose crystals. 3. Dissolving sugar properly. Start by dissolving sugar completely in water over low heat before bringing it to a boil. Undissolved sugar can seed crystallization, leading to grainy texture. Stir gently and ensure all sugar granules are dissolved before increasing the heat. 4. Avoiding agitation. Once the sugar syrup starts boiling, avoid stirring or disturbing it. Agitation can cause sugar molecules to collide and form crystals. If necessary, gently swirl the pan instead of stirring to distribute heat evenly. 5. Using a clean pan and utensils. Ensure that the pan and utensils used for candy making are completely clean. Any impurities or food particles can act as nuclei for crystallization. Wipe down the sides of the pan with a damp brush to prevent sugar crystals from forming. 6. Controlling temperature. Use a candy thermometer to monitor the temperature of the sugar syrup accurately. Different types of candy require specific temperature ranges to achieve the right texture. For instance, soft caramels are cooked to a lower temperature than hard candies. 7. Adding interfering agents. Incorporate interfering agents at the beginning of the cooking process. For example, adding corn syrup or cream of tartar helps prevent large crystal formation. These agents interfere with the crystallization process, ensuring a smoother final product. 8. Cooling properly. Allow the candy to cool undisturbed once it reaches the desired temperature. Rapid cooling or disturbing the candy while it cools can promote crystallization. For smooth candies like fudge, let the mixture cool to a specific temperature before beating to ensure fine crystals. 9. Storing candy correctly. Store finished candies in airtight containers to prevent moisture from affecting their texture. Humidity can cause sugar to crystallize or become sticky. Using airtight packaging helps maintain the candy's intended texture and quality. 10. Experimenting and adjusting. Candy making can be a precise science, and slight variations in technique or ingredients can affect the outcome. Don't be discouraged by initial failures. Experiment with different recipes and techniques, and adjust based on your observations to perfect your candy making skills. By understanding the principles of crystallization and applying the right techniques, you can control the texture of your homemade candies, achieving smooth, professional quality results.